Hello, this is Pablo from fpnips.com. Today I would like to show you a pen, a pen that it is not very well known because uh, it is from a brand new uh, brand <laughs> and uh, a new pen that they have made. So uh, I have been emailed a lot of questions about this pen and I'm going to show you all that I know now. Okay, it comes from uh, with this uh, cardboard box, very simple, black color, as you can see. Here we have some uh, paper instructions, this one in Spanish language and this other one in English. And here is the pen. The brand is called Divine Design. You can see it here. Printed it in in black, I think, it, in, in white, um, some kind of lacquer or paint over the barrel. It is an eyedropper converter and a cartridge. So it comes with this syringe to take the, the ink from the ink bottle and pour it into the ink barrel. It is an acrylic pen, the material, with chrome rings, chrome clip. And it fits Jobo nibs with its ABS plastic feeder the size 6 plastic feeder. It is a complete nib unit that I will show you now in a minute how to screw it in and out of the pen. First of all, oh, I, I would like to show you first the how many turns it need to uncut. So we can now measure from this point very easily, so we are going to um, screw it, that's one turn, and that's another turn, okay, so two complete turns to unscrew the cap. It has simple threads, so it's not a multi-start entry threads, so it will close always in the same position. It has a inner cap inside the main cap that is spring loaded. It touches here, okay, just this part of the grip to make an inner cap that seals the, the nib so it keeps the ink wet so it doesn't dry quickly. And you can feel it here, the spring, it, it touches the inner cap here before the pen barrel start, start mm, threading or screwing, so you will feel it, okay, one and two times. To open the, the barrel from the grip, just a simple screw and we have here the, the main barrel in clear transparent acrylic. It comes with a, a converter that it, it is just fitting into the housing as you can see, the mid housing. And uh, you can use it as an eyedropper because it comes with an O-ring. You see it there, just behind the threads. But uh, I will advise, advise you to use some silicone grease so that the uh, threads uh, are more uh, clean and the ink doesn't go all the way into the threads. So you just put some silicone grease around the threads 
and uh, it will be much better. So with the pen, without the converter, it will look like, like this. You will see uh, uh, the ink and it will have a huge amount of ink capacity. Okay, now the nib unit. As I said before, it fits a size 6 Jobo nib unit uh, that you can select between all the range that we at fpnips.com shop have and uh, it is the, the steel one with all the uh, finish, finishes that we offer, you know, uh, two-tone, rose gold, black ruthenium or you can choose a um, black lac lacquer, for instance. And uh, of course, you can al also choose the 14 karat gold, as well as the 18 karat gold. So, to remove the nib unit, we will hold the feeder from the bottom and the nib from the top. We will never do this, because if we hold like this, we can change the nib shape, the nib geometry, we can close the gap between the tines and it will change everything in the nib. So, to unscrew the, the nib unit, like this, okay? We hold the grip and unscrew like this. Once it is uh, loose, we can hold it anywhere. Here is the complete nib unit that I will recommend uh, to put also some silicone grease in these threads. I will do it when, when I chip it. As I fit the, the nib, I will put some grease in here, but if you change or you clean anytime the complete nib, uh, nib unit and pen, uh, put it again, some, some grease in here to seal all together and make uh, 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 the, the ink uh, doesn't dry or comes outside the, the nib unit. So if you are uh, changing for another nib unit, just hold like this, like before. Uh, now, and screw like any other screw on, on pen, you know? And the, the last, uh, uh, to, to keep it tight, you hold it like this and a last bit till it, it is fit properly. Check the alignment and there you go. Here's the pen. It measures cap, it measures 145 millimeters open it measures 135 millimeters the thickness in the grip goes from 10 millimeters to 11 and a half millimeters the thickness in the barrel it is 13 millimeters and in the cap it is 30 uh, 15 sorry and a half millimeters And to compare it with other pens that you may have or you may know, I have here a Twist B Echo. Okay. And uh, for instance, a Safari, Lamy Safari. There are the three pens very similar in size so you know if you like the pen you want to know more and see all the options that we offer just go to fpnips.com website i will uh, i will give you um, a link in the in the description of the video and you can uh, redirect it directly to our job. Okay, so thank you for watching. Bye bye.